Today I share some tips for painting minis with kids. First, make it easy. Find a relatively permanent painting space and clear it off. Next, make it safe for children to paint there. If you don't think you can manage dedicating an entire space for painting, make a kid's painting box instead. Start with the box and make it a kid's box and fill it with everything you need to paint with your kids. Now you have a mobile painting station. Setup will be a breeze. Making painting more readily accessible is very important. If there is an impediment to beginning an activity, we are much less likely to push through and get it done. In the hecticness of everyday experience, we tend to reach for the simplest recreational activities. If painting with kids is ever going to rise into our top 10 elective activities, its ease of access must be maximized, lest freak internet outages remain the only occasion we reach for this activity. 2. Make it disposable. It's important you enjoy painting with your kids. So, give them trash to paint and trash to paint with. Do you really want to spend time with your kids worrying if they're going to waste your Vallejo model color paints or ruin your sable brushes or leave a $5 mini textured in a sludge of colors? No! So trash it is. If you have army men, mermaids, or other random toys just lying around the house, consider using them as your kid's first mini. A bit of brush on primer later and they are more than ready for craft paint. Dirt cheap craft paint in large bottles is the way to go. This way you can safely allow your children to learn the ups and downs of dispensing paint stress-free. If you can't seem to find any suitable toys or minis with a value not exceeding 50 cents, have no brushes and no cheap paint, then follow the Amazon affiliate links provided below and purchase them. Do not go out and purchase these cheaper at Walmart. I repeat, do not Save the special $10 unicorn mini for when your kids are really into the hobby. Third, chill. Two days later, you're ready. Get to your happy place, invite your kids over to paint, and enjoy the 10 minutes of shared experience your labors have created. Children tend to have short attention spans, and new activities can be especially draining, so set your expectations low, or get rid of them entirely. The last thing you want to do is send disappointment vibes at your child over painting toys. I mean, do you really want your child walking away from the painting session feeling like you find their lack of extended interest disturbing? Hobbies are elective activities engaged in for gratuitous enjoyment, not tests of love or loyalty. So just keep the invitation open. My mom wasn't a great cook. No, I'm not saying I didn't enjoy her food. I mean, she found cooking difficult to learn. As she reflected on her childhood, she says she never really learned how to cook because if she ever went into the kitchen while her mom was cooking, she was just sent out. If we want our kids to end up helping out or hobbing with us, we have to latch onto their curiosity and reward it by incorporating them into what we're doing. It will be inconvenient at times or messy. Washing dishes like this hurt my back a bit, but if my daughter sees chores and hobby painting as things she is welcome to participate in, I'd say it's worth it. So maintain a space for them to paint with you and keep it fresh with an endless stream of novel, new, and super cheap figures. Rather than wishing they took more interest in your hobby, cherish the joy they do take in what you share with them. Those are my tips for painting with kids. Do you have any tips for painting with children? Or stories of sharing your hobby with children? Share them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to make my channel more appealing to the algorithm. And tune in again soon.